Back in 2015, I came across an elderly man outside mowing his lawn. It looked like he was struggling, so I pulled over and helped him out. And that night, I decided I'd start mowing free lawn for the elderly, disabled, single parents, and veterans. That's when I came up with the idea of raising men lawn care service. Since starting the program, I believe I've mowed over 2,000 lawns. I want to make people more aware of the organization and encourage kids to take part in our 50-yard challenge. The 50-yard challenge is a challenge that we have issued to kids nationwide and even worldwide to mow 50 free lawns in their community. Oh, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Today, we have over 500 kids nationwide taking part in the challenge. We're trying to encourage both boys and girls to get out there and make a difference one lawn at a time. for being a positive change, like just a beautiful domino effect. It's really, really awesome what you're doing. But why it. is this so important to you? I believe it's my calling. Um, when I first came out of high school, I went to a school in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Mm -hmm. And God just told me, you know, I asked him what I wanted to do, and he, he led me this way. And I've been doing it ever since. I'm just trying to encourage kids to get out there and make a difference one lawn at a time and give back to their community because I believe it's important. Uh, in this day and age, a lot of kids are inside playing video games. So I'm trying to encourage Amen. them with a lawnmower to get out there and make a difference one lawn at a time. Yes. I love that you're, you know, in essence, teaching kids selflessness. Like you're doing something, there's nothing, you don't get anything out of it except for just knowing that you help somebody. And I think that's a beautiful thing that we all need to learn when we're young, especially. That's really cool. It really is. Because yeah. I remember when I was young, I disliked mowing lawns, but God took something I disliked and turned it into something now I love to do. And I'm doing it every single day for free. So cool. Look at that. Yeah. Look at life. I love life <laughs> like that. So what do you think of, of Rodney's mission? Like, I think it's incredible. I think it's incredible. Here's the thing, though, as I was talking about earlier, about the good that you put out comes back to you. So even though you're out there doing it and you're encouraging everybody else to do it, the beauty of it is as much positivity as you're putting out, look for it in your life. Yes. This, here was the problem that I had, though. I, I didn't know how to feel worthy enough to accept it when it came back. Yes. Mm -hmm. So as it comes back into, to you yes. and into your life, be open to it. Okay. Because that is so true because yeah. so much guilt comes with it. Yes. So much with guilt. With success, you mean? Yes. Yeah, with having success, for sure. Yes. But what you're doing, expect good to come back. Right? I think it's for wonderful. Sure. I really yes. Yes. So how does, how does the challenge work? So the 50-yard challenge is mm -hmm. a challenge that we have issued to kids nationwide and even worldwide to move 50 free loans in their community. So let's say you had a kid here in LA that accepted the 50-yard challenge. Mm -hmm. they make a sign saying, I accept the 50-yard challenge. And in return, we send them a white raising men or raising women's t-shirt mm -hmm. along with shades and air protection. Mm -hmm. Once they move 10 loans, they get an orange shirt, 20 are green, 30 are blue, 40 are red. It's like karate. Exactly. You get, like, yeah. 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 You're, 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 you're working loans. for that black They're cutting on loans. Yes, yeah. I love it. And once you move 50, I drive to wherever they are in the United States of America, and I also present them a brand new mower, weed eater, and blower. So cool. Here's the thing I love about that as well. Like, as a kid who came from nothing, like, I mean, it's an important thing to have a lawnmower for a family, oh, yeah. and some people can't afford lawnmowers. So it's like, even the fact that they can work towards that yeah. and then get that for their family, that's a really cool thing you're doing. You're just a really cool individual, like, just Thank spreading you. kindness and goodness. It's really cool. But which homeowner story? Because I know there's got to be a lot of people that you've met oh, yeah. that have just changed you, but which one kind of sticks out, do you think? Yeah, so I've traveled to all 50 states seven times, and one particular tour I've done for the veterans is called Thank You for Your Service Tour. I went to all 50 states thanking veterans for their service. And I came across this veteran who was a medic in Vietnam. He has five purple hearts. What? Five purple hearts. He has a silver star and a bronze star. And he told me so much stories. Um, he felt guilty because so many young people died in his arms, and he felt like it, it was his fault, and it took a little while for him to get over that. But stories like that, just hearing from our veterans, and it's just amazing what they went through and what they overcame and how they overcame it. You know? Well, I know we start to think about our problems oh, yeah. that we think are problems, and you're yeah. like, that's a real problem? It, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's, that's heavy. It is. So Dante, what made you sign up for the challenge? So um, my stepmom saw Rodney on Facebook, and so she thought it was a really awesome thing that he was doing, and so she sent me uh, one of his posts and was like, hey, you should consider doing this. At first, I wasn't going to do it because I needed to make money from this summer mowing because I wanted to start a lawn service this summer. Yeah. Um, so originally, my plan was not to do it because I needed that money. Um, but I brought it to my mom because I wanted to talk with her about it, and so we started talking about it, and she, she brought up the point that I'm sowing seeds into the community that means more 
than I the money that. <laughs> yeah. It means yeah. more than the money that I'd be earning from that summer. It was yeah. seeds that I'm sowing into that community, yeah. and it was so. It was so awesome to like get that confirmation and that reassurance that I, I should be doing this. You have a very smart mama. Yeah, she very is. smart and kind mama. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, Alana, how far into the challenge are you? I have done 13 yards already. Right on. I, <laughs> I have helped elderly, disabled, and veterans. That's awesome. Wow, that's really cool. One of the people that stands out to me is one of my mom's friends, Jeremy because he had, he's disabled, he had a stroke and half of his body doesn't work anymore so he can't do as much as he used to. So I've yeah. helped him with a lot of that. Hey man, that's so cool. You, you truly are sowing those seeds into the community, and they will, that, that comes back on y'all. Not that you're doing it because you want anything to come back on you, but it will. I can't wait to meet y'all in like 10 years again <laughs> and see where you're at like as humans, because you're starting off so just fresh and fun and beautiful. It's really cool what y'all are doing. Can you do stuck up rich people's yards too? Or just <laughs> <laughs> Because I got about 1,200 acres in Georgia. That oh, Boy, that's not a push mower. That's no, no, like that's a John tractor. Deere. It's a tractor. Yeah, we John Deere. You yeah. need like a ride for yeah, that one. That's right, that's right. <laughs> like I was pushing. We had like a meh, meh, yeah, on. Um, how many recruits do you have here in L.A., Rodney? Um, we don't have that many in L.A., but nationwide we have about 500 kids. And we have two in Canada, seven in Bermuda and England, three in Australia, and two in Germany that are taking part in the 50 yard challenge. Wow. After fun, it's grew into all of this, and I never would have expected it would grow into all of this. You know, it's just yeah. amazing. I just it, want to make sure I'm clear on this. So what you do is you you you're challenging kids yep. 50 to to mow 50 yards of people who are disabled. So the elderly, disabled, single parents, and veterans, and it's not just wait elderly, disabled, single parents, and veterans. Yes. For free. For free. That is amazing. And it's not just mowing lawns. It's also raking leaves and yeah. raking leaves and snow shoveling in the fall and winter. So oh, it's year rounding. Wonderful. And we're well, getting that's real. Right. No shovel in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> that is some heavy duty work. Yeah. Well, um, the LA situation, it's all about to change because, um, come on out, guys. from all over Los Angeles. Okay, they've all been inspired by Rodney. They want to sign up to do the 50-yard challenge. Oh. Let's hear from a couple of them. Y'all aren't too small. I started young, so <laughs> you got this. But okay, so why are you accepting the challenge? Who wants to talk? Anybody want to talk? You, she got her hand, too. Okay, you go ahead first. What was your name? Leah. Leah. Okay, Leah. What, what? Um, I, I, it's because um, I think girls can do stuff like boys. Cause yes, girl. <laughs> and... And also, um, I would like to help out all the people that um, are um, getting older because they need help, and I think it would just be really helpful. That's so beautiful. <laughs> How does this make you feel, Ronnie? Look at all these kids. You're bringing me to church just to hear the stories. I, I mean, you're bringing me. I would have never would have thought no. this, this would have happened. You know, when I was when I first started, I was just helping someone in Huntsville, Alabama. Now he's grown to all of this. Now kids nationwide are taking. I would have never, would never thought. You know what? It's positive ripples, man. Those ripples, they're gonna go and go, and go. Especially with the internet now. Look, oh, you're yeah. touching people in Australia. Yeah. Where else did you say Bermuda? Bermuda. That's Bermuda. where I'm originally like from. That. That's Bermuda. Okay, in the islands. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that's yeah. a really, really cool thing that you're it touching is. that many people across the world. Look at these little young yeah, faces. So you're making an impression on them. I'll be back in California soon when they complete it. Yeah. <laughs> I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.